chaos over in India right now where coronavirus cases are skyrocketing. Hospitals overwhelmed. They're turning people away at this point. Variants are spreading and infecting those already vaccinated. And there's a lack of PPE and vaccine supplies to help everyone. News Ace Ali Peters joins us live in Macedon this evening. And Ali, you have spoken with local families who have loved ones and friends in India. Yeah, community members tell me it's incredibly difficult to see everything going on over in India from afar. The country of roughly 1.4 billion people thought the worst of the pandemic was over, but in the past two to three weeks, they've seen coronavirus cases skyrocket, overwhelming hospitals and making the country put in a difficult position. Coronavirus cases soaring across India, infecting hundreds of thousands of people a day. I don't know even a single friend of mine or any of my family member who's not been infected. It's that bad. There are around 400,000 new cases a day reported, but Dr. Gupta says that's not the full picture. The real number is considered extremely high, much more than that, because the testing is not so easily available. A lot of people are not even get, getting testing because they're afraid if they go out for testing, they can get infected even if they're not infected. An area woman who is from India says she has recently lost five loved ones to COVID. Being thousands of miles away, she relies on different social apps to hear from her family about current situations. Hospitals have no beds. Medicines are short supply. Oxygen in short supply. Vaccinations are not fully you know, given to everybody. She also says up until recently, the government was allowing large gatherings to continue. Allowing the religious festival, that we see people are not wearing masks. They're all gathered in the one inch distance from each other. That has contributed a lot. Another community member tells us he recently lost a young family member to the virus. And being so far away hasn't been easy. It's been very tough and you're sitting here helpless. Um, you know, you can't go attend, you know, their funeral and, and, and their memorial and you can't, you know, be a part of that. With vaccination appointments recently being open to those 18 and older in India, there's hope case numbers will start to go down. Now, there are ways for you to help here locally. Dr. Gupta tells me the best way is to donate to organizations like the Red Cross or UNICEF. That way, your money can go to providing oxygen concentrator machines, which will in turn provide oxygen to those in India who need it. Back to you.